In this tutorial, I'll show to study different conceptual rules with DASIM with model from Egotect that I export to DASIM and do more advanced daylight simulations and analysis. I have three different concepts for the facade layout for this room type with two windows and three windows with the same window to wall ratio. I'm going to use this one in this example. The first thing I need to do, create an analysis grid. Do this from analysis grid, selecting the bottom surface, out of the grid to objects, selected objects, and in the height of 800. The next thing I typically do, that's inset the boundary. If it had been a more complex shape, then there can be some problems with the analysis grid touching the outer surfaces and when it does that then it will create not accurate results. For day sim simulation I typically use 1000 millimeters for each of the grids because I'm going later on choosing some of the, the points where it could be a possible workplace so I don't need to have a very fine grid and also of course with higher number of cells it will take longer time so in for this kind of simulation it's good with the size then i can go either to calculate lightning analysis or going to export variance or DASIM model here i jump directly to the summary part because all these steps is basically only for radiance. The thing in here that is important, that is the output options, it has to be DASIM reader. I need to specify a logical file name and position and it should be in DASIM, maybe in a subfolder of output and very important, you cannot have any space in between your numbers or letters and I save it. Second, I need to have it click out here, use DOS and auto run DASIM at the right, click out the generate point data because later on I'm going to show how to import the data back into Egotech for visual output. And I will do the calculation over the analysis script and last check for material.rad files. Click OK. Then DASIM open then it converting the data into DASIM. So this is the DASIM dialog box, the building tab where I can do some different stuff. I can change the sensor point file. Eagle takes care of all this. The sensor point is those points DASIM is going to simulate on. It's not analyzed on a whole grid. It actually analyzed in a single point. Then I can select a viewpoint file. This is if you want to look more into glare. And last, you can also edit the materials. But again, when you are using Egotech to export from, then you don't need to go in and edit because I recommend to do that in Egotech so you have it in the same model and to get it more transparent with your workflow. Here you also have some kind of uh, different opportunity of concerning the shading device. But again, in this case, stick to the static shading device. For simulation, I go to simulation. In here, you have some different settings. You could say that this is similar to when you do a traditional 3D rendering. And there's building some templates. We're using number one here, in this case, run simulation. Here, I want to calculate the daylight coefficient, and that refers to the daylight factor. The second one, I want to combine daylight coefficient with the climate file for this specific site and last I also want to analyze the glare as default it is clicked out run simulation within DASIM and we are doing that as well in this example and now it's starting up the simulation and this can take as is written here from several minutes to hours depending on how much geometry and how fine you have created the analysis grid inside Egotech. This simulation took approximately five minutes. Now I'm ready to go to the analysis. Here I can do different settings for the analysis part of DASIM, but in this example, I just leave it as default. Before you start the daylight analysis, you have the option of specify where you have your working positions. And here we have the all the, the points generated from the analysis grid where we can give information of 
a work plane sensor and that is here could there be potential a person working and i have specified these different positions in relation to how i assume this room should be used the next step is to start daylight analysis and when i do that then it will analyze the simulation with these default settings after some few seconds or minutes and you get the result in the web browser so in here you can read the different analysis for example daysim can calculate the daylight factor as well as eagle checked but it's more accurate this result from daysim so this concept one have 27 percent of illuminance sensors with a daylight factor over two percent that's not that much these sensors refers to the sensors i specified for the work plane in this report you also get the daylight autonomy analysis this you also can do in ecotech but again this is more accurate with daysim and it also calculates this in these specified work plane sensors daysim also calculates useful daylight index that tells you something about how much of the time is there this comfortable daylight and from research it's something between 100 to 2000 lux and lightning levels under this is to less and of course lightning levels over can give glare problems and last continuous daylight autonomy it's another calculation specification about where it's located and the time period this room is used in the bottom there is a detailed simulation result and these blue ones that's the one i specified as work planes so in these points i can go in precisely see how is the daylight factor daylight autonomy and so on the one with the green letters is points whether is a daylight factor over these minimum two percent so we can see here it's not that many points that that have their daylight factor over these two percent in the bottom there's some simulation tips it's possible to get these results in instead of numbers you can get them back into ecotech to get it as a visual output on an analysis grid last i want to compare these three room concepts the first one have 20 percent of the sensors with a daylight factor over two percent for concept two it's only seven percent and last concept three that's even lower only 13 percent and you will also see here, especially with the useful daylight index, this is between these 100 and 2000 lux. It will also change. It's have a very good one, the last one, because maybe this concept with the horizontal wide window isn't the best one. Maybe this one is better proposal with the three vertical windows, because it maybe will distribute the light more even.